it's me. Today we're gonna be checking out some really creative people. This has gotta be the fanciest drink I've ever seen. <gasps> How did they do that? It's like a frozen dandelion. It had to have been some like chemical reaction on the cherry and then just like, poof. whoa. Is it heavy? Can I pop it? Will it disintegrate? Can I eat it? Mother said I couldn't have a pet fish, so I made my own pet fish. Painted them. They look so real. Sir, sir, we're gonna pour in some fake water, aka resin. Oh, this is insanely cool because he can just keep pouring it in and make it look like they're layers of floating fish and lily pads and whatever else is in there. And then buff it all out. Whoa. And then you have the finished product and it's part of a table. It looks like there's an aquarium in your table so the fake fish can watch you eat your real fish for dinner and be thankful that they're not real fish there's so many ways to cut a watermelon but have you seen it done like this okay I don't like this there's already waste there's still melon in there that's like the best part It's the good seedless part you wasted sir okay square now sell it for ten times the price oh you're frosting it it's a fruit this is not a cake why are you putting frosting fun uh, no it's a watermelon How it was already having an identity crisis and this dude had to done do a bamboozle level 100. Water Malone cake, disguised as a strawberry. Go to jail. The 1900s, this would have been witchcraft. Mm, an avocado. You know, usually people eat these, make some toast out of it, slather it on top. Nah, they make an art. Carving out flowers and flora straight out of an avocado. Wow. They're gonna pull out the seed. Ooh. Oh, they're gonna use the seed. Oh, they're wrapping it in gold? Oh, of course, of course, of course. Must make it fancy. Okay, now hurry up and eat it. Five minutes, that avocado gone brown. Your little gold foil can't help you anymore. This is a super cool way to make a fancy dessert. So they took a mold, poured the blue syrup in it. So it's just chilling on the plastic wrap right now and then wait until they mold it and then pull out the little middle piece, stretch it out. Whoa! And it's edible. Or oh, I just want to take that middle part and just like pull it, stretch it. Tell some more lies so that you may grow longer. So they were sick and tired of their trampoline. Why aren't you a pool? So they transformed their trampoline into a pool. It's actually working. It's actually one of those big ginormous pools. They just coated it. I wanna call it pool water, but I know that's not the proper term. <laughs> Filled it up with water. Not a leak in sight. Whoa, now that's a glow up. Trampoline to pool. Mmm, ice block. Whoa. It's like snow. Same material with snow made of. Brothers from another mother. Oh. A whole entire cup made of ice. You know, nothing goes better with some ice cold water in my ice cup like a pickle. The perfect garnish for my water. It costs zero dollars and zero cents not to do that. This is insane. Look how they're sketching a glass, right? You know, it's just a sketch. Then they whip out the airbrush. Start making some shadows. You see, the sketch is not gonna be a sketch for very long. Bring out the colored pencils, the markers. Watch this glass come to life, literally. Add in all of the detail, and it's just insane how it just like pops at you. I could grab it, I could fill this up with water. I would get the paper wet, but y'all really fooled me. So she took a paper bag. It's pink, it's very pretty. This is probably the nicest paper bag I've ever seen. Tied it up and then made this beautiful little apron thing. I know it looks like a fancy anime dress, but it's literally trash bag. How you make a trash bag look so fancy? Insane. You gonna call me trash? I'm gonna show you just how glamorous trash can really be. DIY big rose. Take an egg, roll up some ribbon. Okay, I thought that was unnecessary, right? So then they glued all the pieces together and what? That happened so fast. I don't even know what happened. Ribbon, cut the pieces, fold them up, hot glue them together, roll them up onto a stick and you got a little ribbon rose. Wow. So they took a rubber glove, taped the finger part, melted some wax, poured the wax in, waited for it to dry, popped it out, and you have a hand candle. Somewhere along the way, they put some wicks in there. If it wicks, it sticks. That's my hand on fire. So they combine two bottles together. Both of them have water. So you basically just cover the top one. Pop it on. Now make them kiss, separate it. And then all the little beads just like boom, float to the top. 
I'm warning you, this is another fixing video. So they took a coin, put it in the corn, glued the corn, popped the corn into an aubergine. Eggplant, if you will. It's been hollowed out or something. Smeared some forbidden cream cheese on it. I mean, plaster or cement. Painted it like it never happened. It's a vegetable. Don't be suspicious. Put it into the dining table, paint over it, fake some wood grain, slap that bad boy like it's brand new. This table is filled with lies. A couple weeks from now, it's gonna start reeking. So this is like a really realistic raindrop drawing. Thank you for rolling your pencil over it. Just so I know it's flat. So we started out with a white piece of paper, sketched some orbs, and then made the lines slightly curved over the drops to make it look like they're 3D, right? Wow, illusion, that's how it works. And then we're gonna make them shiny. So they took a white pencil, put some shine in it, shaded everything in, blended it all up with the little finger blender, add some more shade, and then Wham bam, 3D droplets, ma'am. I love watching these wax pouring videos where they just like make candles out of like any mold. We got a bottle, we got a glass, mix some rose petals in there. Wow. Instead of pouring it, you light it. Whoa. I thought they were doing some pancake art or something. And then they pulled up the string. Who knew string could make a painting so fancy? Just drag it on through, pull, and it's I call this the meat box. Wait, you're gonna see why it's called the meat box. So they take meat, cut it up, load it up in the little meat box, and then it has like slots for the knife to like slice, and then they pop the skewers in there, and it's like wham bam, easy meat skewers, man. It's like, was it really worth all that effort? And then you see how flawless they came out. I have never seen meat skewers so perfect. Don't be shy, cook them. Last summer I decided to start a project over a thousand popsicles. It took me three months to build every single night after school, hoping I get a good grade. And they made an entire house, two floors. It's even got a little balcony, completely out of popsicles. Absolutely insane. How would you not get a good grade? Y'all better give them an A. This is how they do a man wig. Or it's a hair piece. Oh, I love how like mm, shiny headed he is now that the plastic wrap is on him. Sir, I am a man, not last night's leftovers. Oh, they put the cap and then glued the hair on. Oh, you can pull it. Whoa. Wham, bam, new hair. Can we get a before and an after? He passed the weave check. Okay, we mix in some colors. It's a nice cocoa brown. We make it a Coke bottle, aren't we? Yes, it looks like it. <gasps> oh, it's so tiny. Oh, they pulled out the mold. I thought it was going in the container. Oh, very nice, very nice. We got some blue. We make it a little container. Oh, Pepsi. Pepsi, the inferior brown drink. Okay, but it does look cute. They put the little logo on it. Oh, they made a six pack of Pepsi and they're this small for your teeny tiny diet. I've seen so many cool ways to do art, but this guy is doing portraits in mud. You auditioned it for Mount Rushmore? This is father. I made his face in mud. Father looks very upset he's being made in mud. My son could have been a doctor. Instead of making my face in mud. <laughs> Ooh! So I thought this was like some rare scorpion spider hybrid that I would be perfectly fine knowing that it didn't exist. But this girl made this out of hot glue and painted it and then waited for her mom to find it. Ugh. What did mother do to deserve this kind of treachery? That she gotta come home from work and find this. You telling me this is made of glue. Looks very legit. 10 out of 10 would have a panic attack and fall for. So they're taking old CDs, breaking them into pieces, and then connecting them into this giant art piece. Pour some resin over that bad boy, seal it all in place. Whoa, that's a lot of liquid. And then when they buff it all out at the end and it's so shiny. Oh, is this like a seating area? You know, it kind of looks like some forbidden cheese. It's wild how they can just like buff it out. Like this was CDs that they broke. That was somebody's mixtape in 2004. So y'all gonna explain the inside of this and why it be looking like cheese? No? Mmm, nothing like some fresh glass making. Hammer all the crusties off of it, really mold it into place. Bro, we were square a second ago. Now we round. Pop it in here, what are y'all making? A block of cheese? 
They just keep hammering at it. Pizza? It's not pizza. It cannot be. Oh, it's so small now. What happened? What happened to the rest of it? Oh, it just keeps getting smaller and smaller. What's the finished product? Donut? A peach ring? Oh no, it's getting wider. What did they make? It drives me insane. It's like, what did they make? What will it have become? Uh, I'm gonna go with peach ring. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and the face and comment below which one did you think was the coolest one. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And make sure you subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh! I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.